Amen. Amen. Turn to your left and right and still welcome that person beside you. You're welcome. So you're welcome in the presence of the Almighty God. You're welcome in the presence of the Almighty God. If you know the name of that person, call that person by name and welcome him or her. Mary, you're welcome. I said, call that person by name if you know the name. Look at that person and smile. Call the person by name if you know the name. Harry, you're welcome. Tell him or her, my sister, you're welcome. Stand up and hug that person and welcome that person. My brother, you're welcome. My brother, you're welcome. You're welcome. Do it to two or three or ten, fifteen, five hundred people beside you. Leave your share. Move around. Welcome that person and smile. Hug that person and greet him. Say you are welcome. Say your sister, you are blessed. Do it to 75 people. <laughs> My sister, you are blessed. You are welcome. My brother, you are blessed. You are welcome. You are welcome in the presence of Jehovah. Are highly welcome. Hold somebody's hand together. Sing it to them, Madaka. Stand on your feet. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Welcome in the name of the Lord. I can see you, the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord, you are welcome in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord, I the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome in the presence of the Ayahu. Impossible cases are going to be possible today. You are welcome. The buried we can see. You are welcome. You are welcome. I can feel over you. Said it again and again. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I can say the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Leave the hands you are holding up. Almighty and ever living God. The God of our ancestors. The God of our ancestors. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I worship you, the God of the Hebrews. The God of the Jews. I worship you, I adore you in this holy assembly. Where you have gathered your children once again. 
you have gathered us in your presence. Your word says in Micah 1 3 that in your presence are your melt like wax. We have gathered in your presence. We have gathered to worship you, to accumulate you. No, I'm going to put you We are acknowledge that you are our Lord and our God, the God of Nigeria. You are the God that created heaven and earth. Beside you, there is no other God. We reference you, the Almighty. The Almighty, the Almighty that created heaven and earth. We reference your holy name. You are the God that delivered the people of Israel from the land of Egypt. After how many years? Several years, over 400 years of slavery. You delivered them, you rescued them. Nobody could believe that you can deliver them. No ghost can do what you have done. When they were slavery, when they were tortured day and night, they were troubled by the oppressors. I remembered how you called your servant Moses in Exodus chapter 3. Your word says, Moses, Moses, Moses. Remove your sandal from where you are. It's a holy ground. But before then, there was a burning fire. The bush was on fire. But the grasses were not burned. Moses, he saw the fire. He was trying to come closer. You told him, no. Don't come closer anymore. Remove your sandal. You are standing on the holy ground. Moses was shouting, Who are you? You says, I have heard the cry of my people in the land of Israel. I have heard their cries. I have heard how they have been tortured. I have heard how, how they have been treated like slaves, like sheep without a shepherd. I have come to deliver them. In Exodus 3 verse 14, Moses was asking you, Who will I tell them that are sending me, that is sending me? You say, I am whom I am. I am whom I am. We recognize that many of your children are in slavery. A time of your, the, the, our deliverance has come. It was like a dream, according to your word. In Psalm 126, verse 1, when, how you deliver Zion from bondage. It was like a dream. You appear to Moses, he says, I am the God of your ancestor. I am the God of Abraham. I am the God of Isaac. I am the God of Jacob. The holy God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we are in your presence for divine visitation. We are in your presence for divine encounter. Amen. We are in your presence for solution. Amen. We are in your presence for help. Amen. We are here to worship you. Amen. You are the same yesterday. You are the same as of the days of Abraham. You are the same as of the days of Isaac. You are the same as the day of Jacob. And you are the same yesterday. You are the same today. And you are the same forever. You deliver them from Israelites, from Egypt. They could not believe it. It was a surprise movement in the whole world. Everybody stood stand still for what you have done. Even when they left Israelite, 
We knew how you visited the house of Egypt and Pharaoh with the several attacks until Pharaoh allowed them to go. Even before the Red Sea, it was as if they are about to be put to shame. You are the same God who divided the Red Sea for them. And your people started walking in divine express way. Father, let such miracle happen today. That every red sea in our families will divide. Amen. That every red sea in Nigeria will divide. Amen. That every red sea in this ministry will divide. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You deliver them. And you allow their enemies. The same road with Israelite pass freely. The Egyptians could not pass on that same road. They died. You manifested your glory. I remember in Exodus chapter 15, Moses started singing, Who is like thee? Who is like unto the Lord? You are glorious in holiness. You are glorious in holiness. Abba, you are glorious in holiness. Jesus, you are glorious in holiness. Come and manifest your power in our gathering today. Among the gods, Marabakata Lababa Shaka, Marika Bolibo Shika Talaba Saka, Marabo Seki Tirimama Shaka, Marabakata Lababa Shaka Talaba. You let them free. They were delivered free of charge without paying any cover, without paying any naira. Somebody will be delivered today free of charge. Amen. Somebody will be set free today free of charge. Amen. Because the price has been paid. The price was paid on the cross. The price was paid on the Calvary cross. The price was paid with the blood of Jesus. The blood, the price was paid. Somebody must be delivered from barrenness today. Amen. Somebody must be delivered from sickness. Amen. Somebody must deliver from sorrow. Amen. Somebody must be delivered from disappointment. Amen. Somebody must be delivered from poverty. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because the price was paid. You manifested your glory. The whole world saw it. What you will do today, the whole world will see it. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are the taller than the tallest. You are the higher than the highest. Hey! You are the greater than the greatest. You are mighty deliverer. I remember the Daniel chapter 3. How you deliver Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they refused to bow down to worship idol, they were tied and thrown inside a fire. But you appear. You did not allow them to be put to shame. You appear. And they were dancing in the fire. King says that the fourth one looks like an angel. Father, there are conditions of your people that you need to appear today. Amen. Appear in our condition. Amen. Appear in this country. Amen. Appear in Nigeria. Amen. Corruption walks on two legs. Father, appear. The blood of innocent people are being shed every day. Appear. Amen. Jesus, appear. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The fire could no longer consume them in the fire. But rather, the fire consumed people that put them inside the fire. Let those who are trying to put your children into satanic fire be consumed by that the same fire. Amen. 
any man or woman trying to put their children into demonic fire, demonic fire of poverty, demonic power of sickness, demonic fire of sickness, demonic fire of premature death, let that the same fire begin to consume them today. Let that 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 the same fire consume them. Let that the same fire consume them. Let that the same fire consume them. Let that fire consume them. Let that fire consume them. We are holy ghost. Malaba shakata laba kuta laba shakata. Marabu la baba shakata la baba baba shakata la baba 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 baba. Ibu chuko ye dike. You deliver them. Father, the hour has come. Your word says in the book of John, chapter 17, verse 1, that the hour has come. In 2 Corinthians 6, verse 1, your word says the hour has come. The hour has come for somebody's freedom. The hour has come for someone's deliverance. The hour has come for your liberation. Hour has come for your salvation. Hour has come for God to manifest his power in your life. Lift that hand and shout, my hour has come. My hour has come. Almighty God, I remember in Daniel chapter 6, when they throw Daniel inside the game of lions, instead of lion consuming Daniel, lion became friend with Daniel. I don't know many children of God that they have succeeded in putting inside the game of lions. Maybe your enemies are put inside this game of lions. I command those lions that are supposed to destroy you to begin to favor you. Those who are sent to kill you will begin to have pity on you. Amen. Oh, there was a miracle. Because early in the morning, King ran and opened and saw Daniel. King says, Oh, Daniel, God whom you serve, save you. Daniel says, The God whom I serve, send his angel. <laughs> May these angels begin to follow you today. Amen. There, there was a prophetic statement. King says the next morning, those who accuse Daniel, let them and their family and their grandchildren, grand-grandchildren, let all of them put there. The Bible says before they will reach the ground, all the lions have broke their bones. Those who are walking against their destiny, today let that lion begin to eat them flesh and blood. Amen. Let them Lions begin to destroy those who want to destroy you. Amen. Let the lions begin to destroy those who want to kill you. Amen. Let the lions begin to destroy the enemies of this country. Amen. Let the lions begin to kill them. Amen. Spiritually and physically. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And Daniel was brought out of the name of lion. Glorious. I command you to begin to come out of that lion there. Amen. Any child of God that have put inside the name of lion, I command you to come out from that place. Amen. That place does not mess for you. That condition does not mess for you. Amen. The condition you are now is not your own condition. Amen. Come out! Amen. There is a prophetic utterance that's going on now. Come out from barrenness. Come out from sickness. Amen. Come out from poverty. Amen. Come out from failure. Amen. Come out from poverty. Amen. Come out from disappointment. Amen. Come out from sickness. Amen. Don't I run and shout, I am free. Jidaka will hear you. Marekaba Shakata. The holy angels are moving around. Somebody is being drawn out of water of sickness. 
that day Mount Lion they have put you. As Daniel escaped, you are going to escape. Amen. Your family will be rescued. Amen. Today is a day of rescue. Amen. God will rescue somebody like you. Amen. God will rescue your family again. Amen. God will rescue you. Amen. He will rescue Daniel. Amen. He will rescue you. Amen. He will rescue Shadrach. He will rescue you. Amen. He rescue Abednego. He will rescue you. Amen. He rescued the oldest prophet. He will rescue you. Amen. He will save you. He will save you. He will deliver you. He will deliver you. He will save you. He will save you. The Lord will save your family. He will save your family. He will save you. He will save you. He will save you. I say he will save you. A time of your rescue has come. Maraba Shakata. I don't know the condition the evil one has placed you. I don't know the condition they have made you to be living with. <laughs> this condition has become a pattern. It has become a tradition that you are not going to marry. It has become a, a tradition that since you marry, no child, that the devil have done this. The will of God is not that you will be buried. The will of God is not that you will be constant sick. The will of God is not that you are going to be poor. The devil has done this. The devil has turned your heart into a lion heart. There are many things happening in Nigeria. Kidnapping everywhere. And dropping everywhere. A time has come for God to rescue Nigeria. Amen. God will deliver you. Be delivered from that ugly condition. Amen. Be set free from that ugly condition. Amen. Be delivered from that ugly condition. Amen. That condition you are now. Be delivered from it. Amen. I say be delivered from it. Amen. Be delivered from that condition. Amen. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today is your day of deliverance. Amen. Lift that hand up and shout, it's my day of deliverance. It's my day of deliverance. It is my day of deliverance. It is my day of deliverance. He will deliver your family. Amen. I can see somebody's family being delivered today. Amen. I can see your family being delivered. Amen. I can see your children being delivered. Amen. I can see your generation being delivered. Amen. It will happen miraculously. Amen. You are going to be delivered. Amen. I said you are going to be delivered. Amen. And you will have every reason to celebrate. Amen. After this program. Ah. In the name of Jesus. Lift that hand up. Abundantly. It is It will happen miraculously. It will happen miraculously. It will happen miraculously. The time of your celebration is coming. No power can hold you captive anymore. No power can hold your family captive anymore. Because you are from a Jewish tradition. You are from the people of Israel. No power can succeed holding you captive again. A time of your celebration is here. A time of your laughter has come. A time of your celebration has come. The Bible says in Psalm 124 verse 7 that you are like a bird in the cage. 
and the cage has opened and you have fly away. From today, you will begin to fly away. Because God is here to deliver you. Amen. A time of your deliverance has come. Amen. Today, you are going to the land of God that takes away the sins of the world. Impossibility special. Let to Jesus and his man. Let you and his man. Let you and his man. He can make impossible possible. He is the God that changes not. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus be around. Jesus be around. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, no, very attacked. Jesus, 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 Jehovah, <laughs> Father, be glorified as we are going to hear your word now. The Bible says that the entrance of your word brings a healing and deliverance. I am about to speak your word. Let your people be delivered and be set free through the power of your word. Amen. Because the Bible says in Psalm 107 verse 20 that you sent forth your word and your word he led them. He sent forth your word and your word delivered them. And he sent forth your word. Your word make them rich. That through this word somebody is going to be rich again. Amen. Through this word somebody will be delivered. Amen. Through this word somebody's causes will be turned to blessings. Amen. Because in Matthew 8, 8 your word says 
just say a word. The centurion says, just say a word, and my servant shall be made well. And in Matthew 24, 35, it is written that heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word will never pass. I am speaking to your word now. In Ezekiel 37, verse 4, I can hear you telling Ezekiel, Hey, Ezekiel, son of man, prophesy the word of God upon the dry bones. Let the dry bones hear the word of God. Father, as we are about to speak your word, let every dry bones live again. Amen. Let the sickness run away. Amen. Let poverty disappear. Amen. Let sickness turn to healing. Amen. Let somebody on that demonic causes be turned to blessings. Amen. Lift up your hands. Your word says in the book of Psalms that you honor your word more than your name. Every word we are about to speak today, Father, let it be honored in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because in Ephesians 6, 17, your word says that your word is the sword of the Spirit. As we are releasing this word, let the sword move out. Let the sword destroy the enemies of the church. Let the sword destroy the enemies of our families. Let the sword destroy those who vow that the people of God will not succeed. Let the sword move in the Holy Ghost. I am speaking your word. And the Bible says in Psalm 118 verse 89, forever, O Lord, your word is settled. Your word is settled. Your word is settled in heaven. Your word will be settled in somebody's family. Your word will be settled in somebody's family. Amen. That after today's program, somebody will begin to dance in your world. Amen. Somebody will begin to enjoy the power of your word. Amen. That your word will shatter iron in pieces, break every chain, destroy every log gate in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because your word says in Michael 2 13, the breaker will come, the breaker will come. The breaker will come to scatter every lockdown. And that breaker is the word of God. In John chapter 1 verse 1, it is written that in the beginning was the word. And the word was God. And the word was God. The Bible says in the book of John 14 verse 2, and it says, the word is the way. You are the way the truth. You are the way the truth. Let the power of your word move. Because in Isaiah 22, 22, this word has the key. You are the word that is the key to open every lockdown. That through the word, let every Lord God be open in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I cover the gathering with the blood of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus. As the word of God is coming out now, I cover your family with the blood of Jesus. Hover around and share the blood of Jesus. Hover around and share the blood of Jesus. Your family, the blood of Jesus. Zion ministry, the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sister Bakutere, Jesus. Oh, Gaya Bakala. Sister Bakutere, Jesus. Oh, Gaya Bakala. Sister Bakutere, Gaya Bakala. Gaya Bakala. Brother Bakutere, Jesus. Oh, Gaya Bakala. Brother Bakutere, Jesus. Agaya Bakalae, Oya Kutere, Matonya Kasia, and Gaya Bakala, Oya Kutere, Agaya Bakala, Zion Bakutere, Jesus, Igaya Bakalae, Zion Bakutere, Jesus, Igaya Bakala, Zion Bakutere, Agaya Bakala, Zion Bakutere, Jesus, I can't 
Ogaya Bakala, Nabia Guru, Giza, Ogaya Bakala, Uri Nabia Guru, Giza, Ogaya Bakala, Sister Bia Guru, Giza, Ogaya Bakala, Uri Bakuta, Giza, Ogaya Bakala, Uri Bakuta, Giza, Ogaya Bakala, Uri Bakuta, Giza. Father, Jesus, I got to be a hero, man. Oh, and I hear you, man. Oh, you know, you know, Father, I can hear you. Ah. When you went to China, Timo, Iba Kaka, I'm a baron, Kumil Jame, Ibo Kuema. When you went to China, Timo, Iba Kaka, I'm a baron, Kumil Jame, Ibo Kuema. When you went to China, Timo, Iba Kaka, I'm a baron, Kumil Jame. Ibu ne kuwa, wenye wenye chini kwa, hey, wakaka, anu barang kune jamu, ibu ne kuwa, 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 anu barang kune jamu, ibu ne kuwa. Kere mi Jesus, I can tell you how you do, man. Oh, we're the only ones in the dark. We're just the only ones for the truth. Oh, man, I'm passing a car. Oh, baby, we're the only ones. Oh, lori, 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 lori. Hey. Oh, we're the only ones in the dark. Oh, we're the only ones for the truth. Oh, we're the only ones for the truth. Abu na di make a joyful night so bala. Abu doya na beze ta ta koye diha. Abu doya se pe tara peji. Abu na ka se pe tara peji. Eni ba se pe tara peji mnaro. The Lord has opened somebody's page. The Lord has opened somebody's page. Ano barang kuno jamu, ibu kuno. 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 Oh, where are you going to teach me time? Oh yeah. Hey, Kelo. Happy, happy, don't happy, happy. I got my joy and my hope. Happy, 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 don't happy. Joy and joy, don't happy, happy. Happy, happy, don't happy, happy. I got my joy and my hope. Happy, happy, don't happy. Iko jaba no yama, happy, happy. Baby, <laughs> Baby, 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 Jesus, 
recibe Amara mi gemo, mi gemo, kodo do mamá Amara mi gemo, mi gemo, ya kodo do mamá Amara mi gemo, mi gemo, kodo do mamá Amara mi gemo, mi gemo, ya kodo do mamá Amara mi gebe, mi gebe Hey! 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 Eyo, ne fere Jesus ata ne tia hizo. Eyo, ne ya kobe de mama, mara ni gemo, ni gemo ya kobe de mama, mara ni gemo, ni gemo kobe de mama, mara ni gemo, ni gemo ya kobe de mama. Jesus you go. After this program, I will hear you bring in your light. Let the woman see your light here. Your light here. Your light here. Your light here. No fellow Jesus, I can hear you are here, man. Oh, you are not a man of miracles. Oh yeah, take it, take it, take it. Oh, be the one to love. Oh, to raise the child. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, oh, kri kri kana wu ko sadi ariolo. Mbagrai gamazo mazo ya la o. Oh, no, chuko tika biama. No, tuchi ne kani jolo mana. Hey, chelo. Oh, you can make your jima. Oh, you don't want to make your jima, Tata. Oh, you can make your motor home. Oh, you can make your warehouse. Oh, you can make your cage and all our home. Hey! No, first you have to make it. Can you make your better, Tata? I will let a lot in our country, man. Amara mi gemo, mi gemo, kodo de mama. Amara mi gemo, mi gemo ya kodo de mama. Amara mi gemo, mi gemo ya kodo de mama. Amara mi gemo, mi gemo ya kodo de mama. Amara mi gemo ya kodo de mama. Amara mi gemo ya kodo de mama. Amara mi gemo. Bigame ya kodi de mama, bigame kodi de mama. Bigame ya kodi de mama. Amara bigame ya, bigame no ya kodi de mama. Amara bigame, bigame ya kodi de mama. Bigo chata mumo, toya mama. Bigo chata mumo, bigo chata mumo, bigo chata mumo, bigo chata mumo, bigo chata mumo. Ezinola me baba e, 
I am hearing the sound of abundance. Hey, 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 can you shout what you want? Can you shout what you want? Can you shout what you desire? Receive what you desire. Receive what you desire. Receive what you desire. What do you desire? What do you desire? Alata, alata, alata. Oh, you free for your honey. Oh, we are not a lot of nado. Oh, we are not a lot of nado. I said, don't you hear what I will get? I come with you for what you are. And that's the reason you will hear you. You want to hear that, Jesus. I'm going to go to the good and look in that thing now. I said, Zacchaeus, come down. Zacchaeus, come down. Salvation has come to your home. Today, salvation is coming to somebody's family. Favor is coming to somebody's family. There is a business breakthrough in somebody's family. There is testimony in your family. Your neighbors will be surprised. Your families will be surprised. I am here, 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 Amen. Galatia 3.13 The word of God says He became a curse. Galatia 3.13 He became a curse for your sake. For you to be a blessing. Jesus became a curse. He became a curse for you to be a blessing. He became a curse. In the, in the Jewish tradition, anyone that hangs on the cross is like a cursed person. It's not is like, it's a cursed person. In the Jewish tradition, anyone that, anyone that they crucify is a curse. Jesus became a curse for you in order for you to be a blessing. Jesus on your way. Jesus on your way. Amen. 
Emere Jesus onyobe ye Kamuna gebora Emere mere ya No be kavare Emere Emere Jesus onyobe ye Kamuna gebora Emere ya Emere ya Emere ya Emere Emere Jesus onyobe ye in 2 Corinthians 8 9, it is written that he became a poor for your sake in order for you to be rich. In Galatia 3 13, he became a cause for you in order for you to be a blessing. Therefore, there should not be any cause that is still following you. Anybody trying to place cause on you from any witch doctor, from Babalawo people, from satanic people, any cause coming from those who go to church and still go to demon's altar, anybody trying to place cause upon your destiny, most of the orgasms in Lagos, Kaduna, northern places. Their children, we finish serving them for five years, six years, seven years. But before they will settle that person, that boy, who have suffered for them for years, they will take that money to one demonic altar. They will make some incantations upon that money before they will give it to that boy. So that when they give him the money, he will not achieve anything with that money. There are many people that can take your handkerchief or anything that comes from you to one satanic altar just to mess your life up. Today, our today's program is contradicting it because no cause can affect you again. No cause can work in your life perfectly well again. Amen. Because on the cross, Jesus became a cause. Hmm. You that are listening to me now, you are not supposed to be poor. Tell your neighbor that you are not supposed to be poor. You are not supposed to be poor. Or somebody can be poor in the spirit. Tell your neighbor, you are not supposed to be wretched. That is different between poverty and the wretchedness. Tell that person, you are not supposed to be wretched. You are not supposed to be wretched. You are not supposed to be wretched. Because on the cross, they made caricature of Jesus. The reason why, you know, when I was preaching in outside the country, I told them one day, I told them that day, I told them that the people are yet to know why Jesus came. I told them that day that people are yet to know why Jesus came. The world is yet to know why he came. The world is yet to know why he died on the Calvary cross. If you know why he died, then you will strongly believe that there are certain things that cannot work in you. Or work for you on the cross he became poor he became a criminal he was crucified the same way like criminals for you to be delivered can jesus pass through those things and you are still in that condition in your condition today that means something is wrong somewhere <laughs> tell your neighbor Something is wrong somewhere. Something, Something is, is wrong, wrong somewhere. On the cross, he became poor for you to be rich. He made himself a curse. Then, after he became a curse for you, and today, causes are still following you. By the death of Jesus, 
I neutralize and I cut every satanic cause that is following you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The scripture says in 1 John 3 verse 8, the reason why the Son of Man came is to destroy the works of the enemy. And if you read the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 18, when he entered the synagogue, when he entered the temple, the Bible says he asked for the school, the, 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 the book that was written over 700 years ago. He opened it. They were looking at him. He opened the book. After opening it, he read a place in Isaiah 6. Oh, see? The Spirit of God is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. To set the captives free and to declare a year of favor. After reading it, he sat down. He told them, Today, this word is accomplished in your midst. They were looking at him. You are here to know why Jesus died for you. You are a peculiar Christian if you recognize what he did for you on the Calvary cross. You are. Thanatos, when you remember and realize who you are in the body of Christ. Hmm. In 1 Peter 2 verse 9, I think so. The word of God says, you are a peculiar person. You are a holy nation. You are people set apart. You are the royal priesthood. People set apart. You are someone set apart you are not like other people when there is a casting down the people of god will say there is a lifting up because what affects others cannot affect you is somebody listening to me yes, yes. tell your neighbor you're a peculiar child of god, a child of god. if you know whom you are and they realize what God has done for you. Huh. No wonder the Bible says in Romans 8 1. Oh, see, there is no, no condemnation. For them in Christ Jesus. No condemnation. No power can condemn you. No demon can condemn you. No power from underworld. No India power can condemn you. For in Revelation, the accuser of the brethren has been thrown down. No power have the power or that city to condemn you. Touch your neighbor, tell him or her, no power can condemn you again. No power can, can condemn you again. again. The problem we are having as the Christians is that we don't know why Jesus came. That somebody can just poison you and it affects you is because you don't know whom you are. That somebody will go to one altar one altar and kill one goat and use the blood of the goat and the blood of ram and make a concussion and make some incantation and the person will call it in a spiritual realm and it will affect you child of god who go to catholic churches every day who receive the communion who that is the body and blood of jesus every day and the one blood of goat from somewhere is affecting your business that makes you, that means that you don't know whom you are Hi. and that is error that somebody will go to one native doctor and they will use the blood of animal and make sham and it's affecting you and you're dying and many have died in ignorance why? because we don't know whom we are what did Christ did for us on the Calvary cross the Bible says in John 19 30, he cried bitterly. And the word he cried is that it is finished. The word of God says, he cried consumatumes. Tetelesta. <laughs> Look, Mark 15 37 says he cried. He cried bitterly. But Mark did not tell us what he cried. Because when somebody is crying, the person must be saying something. Mark 15 37 says he cried bitterly. But John 19 30 says he cried, It is finished. 
In Mark 15, that's it. Immediately he says, Consumatimus, Tetelesta, it is finished. Mark 15, that's it. Reported. Now, Kwambochi, Bakashe. Akwambochi, Sinei, Baka, Kusanala. We are yet to know whom we are as believers. Tell yourself, tell your neighbor, say, you are yet to know whom you are. You are yet, yet to know, know who you are. are. Many Christians are Christians by mouth. If you know whom you are, nobody can charm you. Nobody can charm you successfully. Anytime anybody wants to charm you, it will be a blessing coming to you. If anybody gives you poison, that poison will turn to pro protein in your body. Because Luke 10, 19, there is a report that says, they shall march upon scorpions and dragons and overcome all the powers of the enemy but none of them shall hurt them they shall pick up serpent but it will not hurt them even if they eat a deadly thing it will not kill them poison become protein saint anthony of padua during his time there was a time they presented food poison for him to die he laughed at them he placed the food he says, oh Lord, I am not doing this in order to tempt you, but to prove to all these people that poison has no power over us, children of God. Or goes there poison, ritual fire, tajua, tokea fire, ne kuro yo yo, tokea no protein, na hiyo malipe yo. We are here to know who we are as believers. We are grasshoppers Christians. Somebody from nowhere will go to Chapode for you. Core business, in hands down. In our now, we so many in a shop. Okay, somebody will go to Anusi Akuzu, Birigo, Michael, Michael, die, 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 die. You look at this one that just died recently. People that was with him was shouting that he was shouting. Oh, oh, he did voice was calling him, but he did not say, and he was answering. Oh, I'm coming. Oh. oh. And that is how he will continue answering, oh, 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 until he die. Who is calling you in that satanic kingdom? What right do that person have to call you? Onya ha makani ibu mwa chukwo ki kapi ama. Onya ha makani ibu mwa chineke. Ode bara bubu e wicha e wicha. Mwa chukwo. Ima kwi hibu as a child of God. Chuna da chineke akelu. For two minutes. Oh. We are here to know who we are. The believers have been, you know. I don't know. Most of us, our problems are spiritual. The Bible says in First John 4, 4, Little children, fear not. You are of God. For greater is he in me, in you, than in the world. I will only carry him. I say in Romans 8, 31, in all this, we are more than conquerors. What is wrong with you? Or see, we are more than conquerors. No matter what is happening, you are more than conquerors. Even if we believe me in heart, you are more than conquerors. What, no matter what is happening in your life today, you are more than conquerors. I say you are more than conquerors. Amen. Lift up your hand and shout that you are more than conquerors. It doesn't matter the condition you are today, you are more than conquerors. It doesn't matter what the economy is saying, you are more than conquerors. It doesn't matter what is happening in your marriage, you are more than conquerors. Amen. Lift up your hand and shout it seven times. I am more than conquerors. 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 After today, we are going to receive the power the anointing of atanatos anointing of undestroyable you will be moving majestically anybody that will come to stand before you after this program like goliath that person will fall for your sake amen listen
Goliath can never kill David. David must kill Goliath. And all of us here have Davidic anointing. If you know you have this Davidic anointing, wave your hands for God. Shout it, I have Davidic anointing. I have Davidic anointing. Therefore, Therefore no Goliath no can kill me. Can kill me. Rather, from today, Rather, from today, any Goliath on my way, way must die. If you believe in shout three hot hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. We I am lifting your spirit up to know whom you are. Are you hearing me? When the anointing was upon Sansen, he was busy destroying Philistines. On a jack at discover the strong man in you. I am giving you this message. For you to discover the strong man in you. Tell your neighbor, discover the strong man in you. Discover the strong man in you. See how you are strong. You are strong. Mete, I can see how you are strong. You are strong. I, through this message, I want to dis discover whom you are. In the night when you are sleeping, the angelic powers will surround you. Somebody will take your name. It should be a job. It will not be a job. It will not be a job. It will not be a job. After this program, anybody that will call you in any mirror, that person will appear himself or herself. Amen. You don't know who you are. Somebody will take your name as a lady says you will not marry. And it's affecting you. After this empowerment program, if anybody take your name that you will not marry, it will begin to affect the daughter. Amen. Not to you. Becky, because you are a peculiar child of God. You are unstoppable. The Bible says in Psalm 125 verse 1, those who trust in the Lord, they are like a mountain Zion that can never be shaken, never be moved as the mountains surround Jerusalem. So the Lord surround his people. You are being surrounded by the Lord. Yes, sir. Why are you afraid of those that are supposed to be afraid of you? Many of us are afraid of those who are supposed to be afraid of you. Tell your neighbor, why are you afraid of those that are supposed to be afraid of you? Why are you afraid of those who are supposed to After be afraid of you? After this program, refuse to be fear. Amen. <laughs> refuse to be afraid of anybody. Amen. What you have for people is to respect them, but not to fear them. Even if they say that that person has gone to the highest native doctor in the world. That is not your business. The Bible says in Philippians 2 verse 10 at the mention of Jesus every nation shall bow. No matter the kingdom that person belongs. As you see me so, I am not afraid. Do you know why? Because Colossians 3, 3 says that I am hidden in Christ. And in Christ in God. Jesus. Colossians 3 We are hidden in Christ. You are hidden in Christ. Ha. Oh, if you are hidden in Christ, which native daughter can kill Christ? Is there any native daughter that can kill Christ? Is there any highest occultic power that can kill Christ? Name Jesus. Come to the Rosemary Guru. Oh, see? Jesus, 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 in a no, yeah, we definitely got 
strong in the Lord. Shout it, I am strong in the Lord. You are strong in the Lord. You are strong in the Lord. You are unshakable in the Lord. I am unmovable in the Lord. I am undestroyable in the Lord. I am more than conquerors in the Lord. I am more than destroyable. Nobody can destroy me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. After this program, begin to comfort your Keloyat. Amen. Don't wait for them to comfort you again. Begin to comfort them. That you are Goliath. After this program, begin to comfort them. Eh? Anytime they come again to attack you, attack them in the name of the Lord. David says something that touches heaven, that provoked the trigger of heaven. What did he say? When Goliath came to attack David, Goliath, he was a mighty man of valor. Goliath. Goliath, if the Philistines are going to war, if Goliath is there, they will defeat. But that day, everybody was afraid to confront this Goliath, including the Saul. Saul, who is the king of Israel, very tall and handsome man, but he was afraid of Goliath because nobody can face Goliath. Goliath is equipped, he's best. He is like a man of Syria. That day, there is something that Goli that David did that provoked the trigger of heaven. David did Oleketa David, Oleketa Goliath. Hi. Goliath says, <laughs> when Goliath, when he saw David, he began to laugh. Look at, look at, look at this rat. Look at this idiot. How dare you? What an insult for this small boy to come and chat.